Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum. I am Fatima Tujuh Arona. Well, uh, today I will show you how to uh, load big data such as in like 1 million data or TV rows uh, within a few seconds. So let's begin. For that, I will use data, uh, data table server side. So for that one, first we have to uh, initialize the Yezra package. So uh, for initializing the user package, we have to run uh, following this uh, blue, blue line in the common line. So let's run it. Let's uh, write this line. So just uh, paste and run this code. I will provide all these commands and projects uh, in the description box. So you can just follow this video. Don't worry about the code. Well, it will take a few um, minutes actually, depending on your uh, internet. The installation is done, and next we will um, add these uh, two lines in the project config slash app.php. Go to your project, then config folder then app.php and console down providers area and then here add the line Similarly, scroll down, then LSS, this area. And at the respected lines here, save. Then go to composer.json. And you can see uh, after the installation, a new line is inserted here. So it's uh, make sure that your installation is done successfully. So make sure that you also check this one. Then uh, next, we will publish the configuration. And in the composer JSON, already we uh, check this. So we will skip this one. And write the code. So we will publish all files. So we will write select zero, enter, well done. The initialization or installation of ESRA is done. Save, uh, view files. Delete it styles. Don't need us, don't need this. Go to the browser. Well, then we will add this table in the viewers to show the data and make sure you uh, give uh, your table with 100% and as well as make sure the T body is empty uh, here we will uh, put or append the data here and in this 100 uh, which means that um, table header and T body uh, align is aligned successfully that's why we are using with 100% I will show you later what happened when we just did this one? So D dot container, then paste the table. Then uh, we'll uh, include the tables essential JS and CSS files. jQuery mean JS, jQuery database mean JS, and tables CSS files. 
so let's add this one first uh, we will include the css file uh, before the head uh, tag end and then we will include the js file before the body tag so this is the standard way to add before head uh, tag um, before end of the head tag include the css and the uh, is before the body tag well uh, for better view or design we will use bootstrap so let's copy css similar way include it in our code then copy the js file i will select the last one copy paste in the code save for initial is the data table js we will do this code so write a script tag document dot ready function well uh, this line document means that uh, all the files or wh whatever files and css css include in this kind page when this all file will be load this is called dom the all the files kind this page when this uh, dom or document will be ready write a function we will initialize the data table for that we have to uh, pick up the table id so copy this id you can give any id name is user defined so since we are using id attribute so this sign then this name and then with data tables so make sure the spelling is right so this how it will be initialized but it has some options i just uh, paste this for time utilization so here for server side uh, true that means it will uh, enabling the data table server processing and that's why it's true since we will use data table server process then adjust here uh, uh, we have to uh, get the data from the controller or the database that's why we have to go to a, another url we include here so if we will see what this URL actually copy paste save and go to the browser inspect and console control shifter Okay, if you see in console path line, there is a link, the original link or the base URL, then the URL uh, I write here, emp underscore list. So this is the, it represents the base URL, then slash emp underscore list. Then this data. For that, uh, if you need to uh, pass the variable as a parameter uh, in the controller, that's why this option is for your understanding. Uh, later, we will remove this one because in this code, we don't need parameter. So, data.params, and this is the string name, the value or the value is and sec that is the nickname that we call from the controller using this nickname 
So this is the basic searching to this kind of. We'll come later, but since it is URL, so it will go to the web.php. So we have to write here the code. So it will come here, emp underscore list, this link. And then it will go to this uh, controller. Then this ss underscore processing function. So we have to uh, create the controller. So let's create the controller. So I write here the code for creating the controller. So enter this one. So it will then go. HTTP controller EMP and just write here the function. I just for time utilization, I just paste the code. Okay, let's come the controller and then uh, request dollar request. It contains all the variable that are seen from the view, so it contains all the um, variable information like here uh, SFC. So it contains this data. So to get this uh, parameter data, here I write dollar request, this dollar request. Then you can you can see here is the params. So this is the params. And I put here in a variable called dollar param. And this is the nickname SSC. So to get access this hello data, we have to write SSC. And then I put here wire close for this. This is how you can access the variable. So this is for um, your understanding, or maybe you can. It will be useful for your further project. So for this code, we don't need any variable. We just select all the database, uh, all the data from the database. So I will delete this one, also this one. So here db, it will, um, for configuration of db, I write here the database name, big data underscore db, you can name anything. And here is our database. I just uh, download this demo, 10 million data uh, base table uh, as SQL. So I will share the SQL file, dot SQL file. It contains uh, 10 lakh data. It have some columns, user ID, first name, last name, username, gender. Here in DB, we, since we are using DB package, so I always include use DB. Then user details is the table name. So I write the table name to select data from this table uh, order by user ID, so I will show data uh, using order ID. Here, user ID is the column name. Then I put here in the query, and it will then uh, for data tables. Uh, that's how you uh, we install the ESR data tables. And to use this bracket, use data tables, we have to include this and this data tables. We use here using query builder so it will build the query according their uh, syntax behind so we don't have to worry about this then here this dollar uh, query is the above query variable where all the data from the user details table is include then it will convert it to json and return to the view after coming here then you can see in columns here is uh, it is for showing the data in the t body html tag so here user id is the column name first name username gender this is actually the columns name from the table and here is the class name is uid it's uh, about to give the td 
as a class attribute since our keyboard is empty so there is no way to give the td um, a class name that's why you can use class name but in in my case there that is no useful but i it is for your understanding or you for your further use so at, at the same time if you see here is four th four uh, header and similarly this is four data so this uh, user id actually referring the fault td so you have to uh, make sure all these this uh, false name is referring this one so it is referring respectively so you have to understand uh, to get the uh, exact column uh, data for this uh, header you have to write the column's name accordingly don't necessarily that last name will be first or a username will be second you can use according to your header so after uh, going the data it will show data using columns and if you see this is the basic rule footer something is wrong well i just uh, could have uh, save control footer yeah all that is we get we return all the data within a very few seconds if you see this is the If you go to network, you can uh, load control footer and you can see the load time. If you uh, see searching, uh, it is for the search box. If I make it false, so it will uh, just uh, display, it will not display the search box. So this is how you can uh, do the uh, options according to your choice and this is the score y that is i uh, mean in the height its height will be 500 pixel you can make it 300 another kind of so if you uh, we choose here 50 data so you can see the length is height is uh, 500 length and there is the score appearing And if you see uh, school F, uh, true means it, you are in enabling the school in the X axis. And this is for school colors for the uh, the body and this uh, bottom to not to colors. So uh, main is Ajax, then columns and servers are true. And another thing, if we remove this with 100% and save, and if you see, control shifter, if you see the header and the body align is not, is not aligned or they're not matched with each other because of, you, you have to give this with 100%. So make sure your table you're giving the one with 